Even if there's the slightest possibility that Tarina's right, we can't take the chance of an all-out war in the DMZ. What do I care about another damn war? That's my fortune out there. I've waited too long for it already. Well, you wouldn't have gotten further than Avonrest without me. Consider that until I return. Hive, patch me through to Commissioner Hawk. Oh, it's you. I gave you this private connection only for extreme emergencies. This is important. We need to talk. It's about a comet. Not on the comms, if you please. No telling how secure even fleet frequencies can be. I am closing in on the demarcation line with the DMZ. I'll send you my coords. Meet me there as soon as possible. Until then, keep channels free and speak to no one. Damn, that's off my charts. I'll see what I can do. Over. I'll need to make it fast. I don't think we can hold down Maddox for too long. Kala, come in. This travel tech you had me pick up, does it really work? Yes, Clico. It joins two places by a connected rip. Having inspected the technology for myself, I have determined that it operates by finding a matching resonance between two astrographic points. This facilitates a spatial bypass of the two locations to momentarily manifest. The mechanics, I am still endeavoring to computate. Hmm, a spatial bypass. Interesting. If true, this could get me to the Commissioner faster. How about we try this thing out? If you're ready, let's begin. Hey, uh, Adam, are you busy? Am I busy? You mean other than the epic, ongoing drama somehow always pitched on the edge of war everyone's lives at risk? Yeah, other than that. Uh, no. Not really, I guess. Oh, good, thank you. Really, thank you. Because I was wondering, not that I want to be any trouble, but if you happen to have some time... What do you need, Alec? It's my kids. They're on my mind. Are they in trouble? Usually, yeah, but nothing to worry about. Evic's a mechanic, and Eric's a pilot, and then there's Emic and Edic and Efic. Oh, and of course, Epic and Ezic, who have kids of their own now. Can you believe it? I'm a grandpa. Somehow, yes. And there's still all the others. Too many to get into right now. But it's been so long since I've had any word from any of them. And if you were to ever, you know, be in the area... Where are they? With their various moms, mostly on Avonrest, but it's the ones out at Coalition HQ and Drake System that I'm more concerned about. You could reach it through the hidden wormhole in Union. I don't know it. If you give me cords, I'll stop by and make sure they're all accounted for. Okie dokie. Cords are sent over. I'd go myself, but the Coalition told me to only show my face again if the cluster's about to implode. Appreciate it, dude. For you, Alec, I'd do anything.
Coalition HQ, state your business. I'd like to inquire about the well-being of some young Horags on your station. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. Aren't you Adam Roslin? The one in... Uh, well, yes. That stunt you pulled on Avonrest brought down Okar Heat on the Coalition, which we could have done without. Oh, yeah. Look, sorry, but that was Maddox. I think I remember you. I am Ming Yun. I command the Coalition, or what's left of it. Look, I'm just trying to do a favor for an old friend. Do you happen to know any of the offspring of a Horag named Elek? Of course. Emek and Enik especially, they're total goofballs. My own kids love them. You can tell Elek they're all doing fine. I can't vouch for the general future of our station, however. What do you mean? The Coalition is walking a tightrope, and I fear our position here is hanging by a thread. I feel I owe you guys for all the trouble Maddox caused earlier. If there was something I could do... Hmm... We could use any help we could get. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Zorillia gang? Should I have? Dregs of the Colonial Fleet abandoned here after the Okar War. They've managed to survive in the geothermal plant of a lava planet, looting the occasional automated cargo, which we can tolerate so long as they leave our bases alone. But now, the Zorillia scientists have developed a signature bomb which we have no defense against. So they become a threat? Possibly. If we could just get our hands on one of these bombs, we could examine it and assess the magnitude of the threat. If I was to try to pocket one for you, where would they be found? Deep inside their base. The bombs come for to a drone. Get a drone out of there and program it to deliver it to us. Just... You know, make sure it's not armed. Sounds too easy. There has to be a catch. The Zorillia's HQ is well defended. But our spies have reported a back way in that's unguarded. Why would they leave it unguarded? Because it's inside a volcano. Ah, and there's the catch. I can't send any of my own people. If Zorillia finds out we were involved, that would provoke them into action. I'll undertake the task. I'm not one to leave my friend's kids in danger. Deliver us the drone, and then we might take a different opinion of you.
radio you from the other side. Are you really about to offer yourself up as a guinea pig for an untested technology? This is insanity. Nothing ever gets accomplished by not taking chances, Hive. You can tell when you can fly through by the sparks. Sounds fancy. Let's do it. and ming Yan reassured me that your children are doing great. I just need to make sure things stay that way. Okay. That doesn't sound reassuring at all. Can you tell me anything about a Zerillia gang that's been hounding the Coalition? Those guys? A thorn in the backside of the Drake system. Their boss, Admiral Zealous, is a bloodthirsty maniac who thinks it was a mistake to sign a treaty with the Olcar. You're not getting mixed up with them, are you, buddy? I'm just paying them a little visit. I'll be careful. If I can help neutralize some bombs they've apparently developed, I might be able to provide some lasting security for all the little X. You're the best, Adam.
I knew this would end in disaster. You have been transported to a planet interior, never to find your way out again, and you will die here. Ha! I was right. All right, Hive. No need to be so happy about it. Does anyone read me? Hmm. No response. Where the heck are we? Let's just take a little look around and see if there's a way out. She tricked you. The blue alien has achieved its deception. I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, Hive. There must have been a miscalibration somehow. I mean, I did change location at least, and I am in one piece. Hey, you know what? The wildlife in here is familiar. I'll be damned if I'm not somewhere back in the Kaid Nebula. The blue alien will have morphed into its true hideous self and consumed all of your companions by now. Seriously, Hive. Get a grip. I didn't know you were imbued with so much imagination. I am only stating possibilities. You are enjoying my predicament way too much. The radio silence gives me some time to think about things. I mean, none of this is how I expected it to turn out. You know what I'm talking about, Hive? I have not the foggiest. I feel things have changed. All I cared about to start with was getting out of the DMZ. But I only seem to be becoming more embroiled in it. You are certainly deeply entangled in the political intrigues of the region. Although I am certain you could still extricate yourself. Yeah, sure, but to what end? What would be the consequences of that? The more I think about it, the more I realize that my commitments are here. In the Beltagrades. In the DMZ. I'm afraid a load of Viridium might get me back to the home worlds and in a very luxurious condition. But would I really be happy with myself? Happiness. Oh, dear. Every philosophical discussion with a human always comes to this. You know what, Hive? More existential musings. Will it be like this until you starve to death? There's a way out of here. I'm sure of it. But no matter what happens next, all I know is that I can't let my friends down. I have the feeling they're all counting on me. But I just can't figure out what the right thing to do is at this juncture.
Things are looking up, Hive. I think I see light at the end of the tunnel. So soon? Humans often mention such a thing when they are near the end. No, I'm not speaking metaphorically. I really think I see a way out. where we picked up Kala and Eduardo. Anyone back at base reading me? There you are, Clico. Something went wrong. You're telling me, Kala. We ended up right next to your escape pod. Ah, Toka. I think I know the reason. There are no... other rips or connections yet. Except for the ones on my ship. Adam, I believe this may have been caused by the lack of reference points in the cluster. Kala seems to have expected there to be other points. The experiment sent you to your present location because there was a very slight reference signal emanating from the cube within the escape pod Kala traveled in. If you can retrieve it, we will be able to calibrate a more exact travel and create more reference points where we go. Okay, let's try that. If we can get this to work without being transported into a sun's core, this tech could really be a game changer. Okay, I got Kala's cube. Adam, there is another matter. Go ahead. Kala is quite upset by this turn of events. She is confused as to why no reference points exist in this end of the galaxy. This must mean that she is a lot further from her homeworld than she first thought. Well, do your best to comfort her and let her know that we'll do what we can to help her find her way home. So, Kala, are you feeling okay? What would we need to do next? We will make new rips and connections. From what I've gathered, this works a bit like the Einstein-Rosen bridge. Toka, it's not a bridge, but a fold. Or a rip, Clico. We'll get there. But right now, I think I'll have to use conventional means to reach the Commissioner's location. I've left her hanging. I bet she'll be pissed. This fast travel technology is too promising to pass up. Let's try to open up some roots, or rips, when we assemble the parts we need. You are seriously going to attempt that folly? Again? It might just be the insurance we need to get out of the DMZ if everything goes south. Time to face the music. Patch me through to the Commissioner. First you tell me it's important, and then you don't show up. Yeah, look, I got sidetracked. Are you still at the cords you gave me? Of course not. I'm on the move again. Tell me your current location, and perhaps we can meet at a convenient point midway. I'm near Aethor, in the Kaite Nebula. Well, I'm not bringing my cruiser in there with those lunatics at large. Meet me at the abandoned jump gate in Zarkov. Don't keep me waiting. You got it.
Adam, before you proceed to the Commissioner's location, I would like to request that I accompany you to the meeting. Actually, Tareen, that might not be a bad idea. I think she needs to get the bigger picture on this. Although I think Hawk knows a lot of the DMZ's secrets, an Okar perspective might be what she needs. Why don't you fill me in a little more on the significance of this comet? Eshahar is of great importance, and its passage signals the beginning of a season of ritual festivities on our home planets. some trepidation about how events appear to be escalating. As far as I can make out, Hawk is here in a diplomatic and intelligence capacity. We just need to get the word out to keep the peace. you so long, Roslyn. I thought you knew how to navigate the DMZ. You haven't been straight with me about the mission you sent me on, to the Lunar Colony. Well, my mission here is over, and I have no further assignments for you, unless you want to make yourself useful for once and give me something this massage droid cannot. Damn it, Hawk. We know about the Sacred Comet, and we know its trajectory. You sent me to check how close Blakemore was to finding it. Any violation of the Comet, of Eshahar, 
would result in the end of any toleration between our races. Yes, I know. Spare me the lecture. Traitor Tarine. The Okar warrior who wanted to be a cleric. Another anomaly of the DMZ. What strange bedfellows you two make. The Okar consider you an outcast. Why do you care whether we go to war? I may have pursued a life of religious contemplation, but I would still fight to protect peace. The return of Eshahar and the discovery that it is in danger has reawakened my sense of commitment to my faith and my people. Interesting. And you obviously found Mr. Roslin receptive to your concerns. If it wasn't for you, I'd leave this godforsaken place once and for all. But I also hate unfinished business. And perhaps I underestimated you from the very beginning. Okay, let me fill you in on some of the details. By all appearances, you have found the comet before Blakemore. Unfortunately, the Okar are also aware of his activities. They are preparing a preemptive strike against GMB's lunar colony. That would trigger a war. Indeed. And as it happens, you have found me after appraising the Federal Council of the situation. And they have resolved, quite disappointingly, to let affairs play out on their own. I asked to parlay with Emissary Sareth in order to buy time and allow me to handle GMB myself. However, communications have suddenly ceased. There is a sub-faction of Okar hardliners agitating for war. My suspicions lead me to believe that they have something to do with this. I get the feeling you have the need for another covert operation. You and Tareen might be the key to solving this impasse. It's not like I can go in with a fleet cruiser, guns blazing. This would get me the leverage I need to stop Blakemore. As previously agreed, you would receive full amnesty. You get to keep your base, and you gain free passage out of the DMZ. Tareen, what do you think? Are you up for this? I do not expect to receive much welcome from my kind. I am the errant example that spawnlings are warmed of. You're still an Okar. Even if I reach the Emissary, he has no reason to listen to me. But together, he might just be curious enough to hear us out. Perhaps. Of course, whether we can reach the Emissary alive is another question. So, Tareen, what can you tell me about these Okar hardliners? They call themselves Okar Prime. They seek to reclaim all space lost by the arrival of the Colonials. Any opportunity to trigger a new war would suit their purposes perfectly. Their sentiments do not reflect those of the Okar majority, however, who are happy to remain in a separated peace. sent us to make contact with the Okar about the situation. Sit tight. I'll keep you posted.
insignia. And those force field emitters don't look very peaceful to me. That must be the work of the aforementioned Okar Prime. The Commissioner's suspicions have been proven correct. Hailing clerical, Corvette. This is a colonial delegation on a diplomatic mission. Your authority, your treaties, your lies, and your filthy presence have no place here. We only wish to speak with Emissary Sarath. We come on behalf of Commissioner Hawk bearing a request. There will be no negotiating. Turn back and keep to your own affairs. You have been warned. We won't leave until we've delivered our message. If your request was death, then we shall be sure to make you satisfied. Tareen, can you provide a distraction while I figure out a way through this force field? You can count on me, Adam.
system now. remain close in order for this to work.
Watch the master at work, Hive. to power up the system. You must remain close in order for this to work.
dispatched an emergency broadcast. This is like the old days of analog. You take a weakling's approach by summoning the authorities to your aid. We're disengaging. This is our chance to get on board. Hailing clerical corvette. Do you read me? We are on a diplomatic mission and request access to the emissary. It appears that we must force sentry. It may be that the hardliners still have control of the corvette. Stick to a gunfight? These are dangerous extremists we're taking on here, Tareen. This part must be done the way of the old warrior code. Do not harm the ones in ropes and stay behind me. Careful. Best keep your blaster holstered. Side of you I never knew, Tarine. Okar never forgets his training. You are the traitor we've heard of. The one who left the brood to become a menial merchant to the humans. I have become something you cannot understand. And now I will not allow you to stand in the way of peace with the humans. The talk of a coward. You want to settle this the traditional way, after you abandon your chosen path. <laughs> I am my own master. You are but a slave to the warrior code. I see before me such things as I could not have foreseen. Your Eminence, I am Tarin, and this is my companion, Adam Roslin. Tarin, of course. I am familiar with your story. So you have decided to return to us? Not exactly. We have come bearing a message from Commissioner Hawk of the Colonial Fleet. Eshahar is under threat from the humans. The Comet is under threat from rogue agents who do not represent us. The Commissioner sent us to plead for more time before an Okar intervention. She sends assurances that this problem can be solved internally among us Colonials. Hmm. You are known to us too, Adam Roslin. Indeed, we have encountered you a number of times in quite a variety of contexts. Tell me, why do you care about the Okar, of whom you have killed so many? I understand there are peaceful elements to your society. I have just never met them before. And of Eshahar, what do you know? I have learned from Tareen that it is sacred to you. Sacred, indeed. The spirits of our ancestors are embedded in its ancient stones. Twice in each generation they pass to share their visions of the past, present, and future. But perhaps you know this. Perhaps you have been touched by Eshahar. Tareen, I commend you and your friend for your noble interference. It was timely. Relay to the Commissioner that the Grand Master shall be informed. And we shall stay our hand, at least for the time being. And Tareen, should you ever wish to return to us, a clerical vocation is still open to you. Thank you. Your Eminence. We will resolve this. You have my word. Your timely intervention may have altered the disastrous course of our shared history. And thanks to the signal you sent, the authorities will be here shortly. I have informed them of your great assistance. 
It was an honor to be of service. And an honor to meet you. I'll need to update Hawk on the situation. Commissioner Hawk, do you read me? I hope it's good news, Mr. Roslin. Your suspicions were correct about hardliners being the reason for the emissary's radio silence. He was being held hostage. We were able to free him, and he has not been harmed. This suggests tensions between the Elkar castes are intensifying, and could sour already strained relations. For the time being, we've been given assurance that the order will be issued not to attack GNB, as long as GNB do not attempt to touch the comet. The Grandmaster's proclamation on this should guarantee that none will cross that line. I hope so. Although we should not presume to test the Okar's toleration further. GNBs still need to be brought to heel to prevent conflict. 